So in this video, what we want to do is we want to look at identifying the mass percent of an element within an overall compound. And so when we talk about mass percent, what we would say for a specific compound, so I'm going to say mass percent of X is going to be equal to the total mass of X that we have, whatever that element or piece is, divided by the total mass of our compound that we would have, and then we go ahead and make it a percentage. Right? And so if we have a bunch of different elements within a compound, all of their mass percents should add up to equal 100%. So if we look at this specifically for a, a compound, let's say we want to find the mass percent of oxygen in aluminum oxide. Well, as for, for us to be able to do that, we're going to have to find the mass of oxygen relative to the mass of aluminum oxide that it's in times 100%. Well, we need to figure out the mass of oxygen and the mass of aluminum oxide, but we aren't told an amount. We aren't told that we have 100 grams or 1,000 grams or 5 grams, but that's okay because our mass percent is an intensive property. Right? An intensive property means it doesn't matter how much I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what if I have one mole of aluminum oxide? Well, if I know I have one mole of aluminum oxide, I know the mass of aluminum oxide that I would have. It's the molar mass of aluminum oxide, 101.961 grams of aluminum oxide. So check, I know the total mass of my aluminum oxide. I want to find the mass of oxygen. Well, in my aluminum oxide, I know that I have three moles of oxygen. Well, I could find the amount of oxygen that I have, the mass, by saying, well, if I have three moles of oxygen, and based upon the molar mass of oxygen, each mole of oxygen has a mass of 15.999 grams of oxygen, we would see that we're going to have 47.997 grams of oxygen. And that is the mass of oxygen that we have. And it's relative to the mass of aluminum oxide, because if I have one mole of aluminum oxide, I have three moles of aluminum. So now I have the, uh, the three moles of oxygen, excuse me. So now I have the mass of my oxygen and the mass of the aluminum oxide, so we can go ahead and identify our mass percent. And our mass percent is going to be equal to the mass of oxygen that we have, 47.997 grams of oxygen, divided by the mass of aluminum oxide that we have, 101.961 grams of aluminum oxide. We'll go ahead and make it a percentage. And we would get 47.074% by mass of our oxygen. And so this is looking at a compound and we're, we're saying, well, I don't know how much of this compound that I have. So let's just say whatever amount we want. Let's say we have one mole of it. Then we can find the molar mass of that and that tells us how much of that compound we'd have in one mole. And then we say, well, I started with one mole of aluminum oxide. I'm going to have three moles of, of oxygen because that's how many moles I have in one mole of aluminum oxide. And I found the mass of those three moles and then I went ahead and found the mass percent of each of them. And so this gives us the ability to relate the mass amounts uh, of uh, aluminum and oxygen or oxygen to the whole when we're talking about mass percents. Right? In our previous video, we looked at mole ratios. Mole ratios gives us the ability to relate molar amounts of aluminum oxide to oxygen or oxygen to aluminum. But this gives us the ability to relate our mass percents. So if I had 100 grams of aluminum oxide, I know 47.074% of that is oxygen. So I'd have 47.074 grams of oxygen. And this gives us the ability to quickly and easily relate mass percents of a uh, specific compound. And again, this is an intensive property. So it doesn't matter if I had one gram of this or 100 grams of this. I, the mass percent of my oxygen would still be 47.074%.